We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. Welcome to quarter-final action here of the Doherty Cup at Lakeside Stadium, South Melbourne hosting the Melbourne Knights. And as big derbies go, John Cairo, this is about as good as any we've seen recently. Indeed, David, and there is a lot at stake here tonight. The winner will, of course, qualify for the FFA Cup and uh, also the semi-finals of the Doherty Cup, whereas the loser will have to wait until next year to be in that competition. We're just about ready to get underway. Both sides a lot on the line tonight. And, uh... Well, that's a clever ball forward there for Alinez He might find his way behind Eager there. The big centre back hassles him, holds on to him a chance now. It opens up at the back post. Oh, dear me. He's missed. I can't believe that. He had net open in front of him. Well done to Saldaris for getting down quickly, John. But that should be 1-0. Yeah, the Knights should be 1-0 up here, David. And quite how they aren't is uh, a mystery. As we see, the South defence opened up there very early on. And the Knights almost taking a lead here at Lakeside. Bradley Norton gets himself under that one. Linajad's always dangerous, South fans know that, but this time it opens up for them. Now Monopolis gets a start tonight. Shot from the Monopolis, dipping and off the crossbar and away. And oh dear, oh dear, what a goal that would have been. The South fans be ruining that missed chance. Yes, a fantastic strike from Lee Monopolis from quite a fair distance. I don't think Chris May had any chance with this. I think he was just rooted to the spot watching and hoping that it stayed out, and luckily for him it did. And the ball, as you see, swerves and uh, curls and hits the uh, crossbar and bounces out. That's a lucky escape for Chris May and the Melbourne Knights. Pumping that one along. Perhaps both sides might have had a goal here early on and the Knights well, they'll have the next opportunity. The dipping shot there. A bit too high. It goes over the bar and misses everything. Norton eventually uses Monopolis, the man who nearly scored before. He's looking quick here, Monopolis. Puts in the shot, that time Chris May not troubled though, that one letting it go wide. It's been very end-to-end -end stuff so far and Musa was a clash of bodies in the midfield there. Play on's the call, Theodore plays it out wide now. Epifano looking for a cross, here's Monopolis, turns, keeps his feet, Monopolis, good save Chris May. Oh, that probably should have been the opening goal there. We've said that a couple of times, John, but that was a great chance. Well, we were wondering how the Knights didn't take the lead earlier, David, and now I'm wondering how South didn't take the lead here. A lovely ball from uh, Epifano to Limonopoulos. Great turn, but the final finish just wasn't there, and he's hit it straight at Chris May, who, po who positioned himself well and, importantly, makes the save and keeps the Melbourne Knights level at nil-nil. But really, Limonopoulos should have put that in the back of the net and given South the lead here tonight. Looking for something from the long ball on this one. Played in high, goes through, everybody bounces in front of Saldaris, then over Saldaris, and south out of danger. Minopolis could have had a couple so far, that's a nice ball. Theodore chips across, looking for Epifano on the volley. Across the face and wide of the left hand side. South Melbourne looking good in the last few minutes. A lovely ball here from uh, Matt Theodore over to Nick Epifano. Now this is a difficult chance and he did well to get even close here. And uh, Chris May again, unsighted, and uh, he wouldn't have had a chance of saving that, but luckily for him, Epifano's shot goes wide. Theodore in heavy traffic, can't hold on to it. Marla goes sliding in, there's a clash of bodies, play on is called. And uh, that's a lovely tackle there by Michael Eager. But they got overlapping numbers, here comes Stippo for the Melbourne Knights, the big striker. Gets around Eager, plays the ball in, Oscock, it's a goal! Melbourne Knights have the lead! Well, a couple of... Shaky moments at the back for South Melbourne. The Melbourne Knights capitalised. They just got numbers forward and they finished their chances. No missing that one. 1-0 one Melbourne Knights. John South with it all to do now. Indeed, David. South have to respond quickly. Uh, Stippo here on the near side gets, uh, gets past Michael Eager and uh, then cuts the ball across. And it finds Tommy Uscock, whose shot I think goes through Brad Norton's legs and beats Jason Saldaris and goes into the back of the net. And the Knights take the important 1-0 lead here. I think we'll see it more clearly. Yes, Uscock's shot goes through the legs of Brad Norton, catches Jason Saldaris a bit off guard there, and it goes in the back of the net. The Knights lead 1-0, and their fans are very happy here tonight. 
Well, oh, wouldn't they love a second goal before half-time? The Melbourne Knights, that would just about kill off south. But uh, haven't broken through yet, and that's not dealt with that ball by Tim Muller. A chance here, another one saved by Saldaris. He did nicely there, got down quickly and cleared that one away, and that almost could have been 2-0. Yeah, and almost game over as well, David. Uh, the Melbourne Knights with another chance. Luckily on this occasion, on this occasion, Jason Saldaris alerts to the danger and makes the important block. That ball into the box, so Linajad always dangerous. Linajad with a shot into the side netting and uh, the Melbourne Knights threatening to put this game away early in the second half. Linajad always been dangerous against South in previous meetings and he's been the same tonight. This time the shot goes to the near post but it goes out. Linajad here on the right hand side, dangerous. Puts the ball in, Timmy Marler will watch that one go out. But they'll get another chance here. The Knights if they can get a cross in. Ball played into the box there and a chance opens up and it's put over the bar. Ooh, that was a glorious chance to make it 2-0 and not taken. Another fantastic chance here for the Knights as we see across to the near post and again an unmarked Knights play. The South defence really needs to tighten up. Luckily on that occasion they get away with it. Jamie Reid coming on to replace Epifano. Change in tactics. Chris Taylor hoping to inject something in the front half. Long throw there by Norton. Just as easily dealt with. Stipo, the man who provided the first goal, has played Alinejad, and he's through here. We know he's fast. Moose is tracking him. Out comes Saldaris. Alinejad scored. It's 2 0. The Melbourne Knights have a two goal lead, and that might be the goal that sinks South Melbourne's cup chances for this year. It was a runaway goal. It was a nice ball and a nice finish in the end, John. It was a fantastic finish as South press forward. Alinejad beats James Moose. He springs the offside trap, beats him for pace. And as Jason Saldaris comes out, he quickly shoots on his right foot and puts it past Jason Saldaris' near post to double the Melbourne Knights lead here. It's going to be very difficult for South to come back here. As you'll see, he beats Musa for pace and he uses his right foot to slot it past Jason Saldaris at the near post for a goal. Linajad has been very dangerous tonight again and the Knights lead 2-0. Ball played in. Musa! Well, he did well to get to the ball, put the header on, but it flew over the bar and South really needed that chance to strike back quickly. Yeah, South needed to respond straight away and they almost did. Musa meeting the header firmly, but unfortunately he puts his header over the bar. Jamie Reid standing over it. He's got some big bodies in there at the back. Musa again! And again the ball goes flying over the bar. It's just a case of almost for South Melbourne tonight. Moose's clearance, he's fallen over in the process, the slippery ground getting the better of him and the Knights might make them pay here. Tim Marler's stretched, eager, oh good save there by Saldaris, keeps it out and that would have been game over had a third gone in, John. Most definitely and on this occasion we see uh, Leo Thanasiu, the left footed striker, good shot, it's going on target and Jason Saldaris again is alert and makes an important save to keep South in it just. Well, Dimitriaris and Kobe Boahin make their way onto the ground and South Melbourne really looking for a final roll of the dice. On comes debutant Dion Kirk as well. Played forward there and it might sit for Jamie Reid. Jamie Reid keeps it up. The ball punched away by Chris May. Now it's still there for Kirk. Squares it up. Minopolis, the shot. That looked a handball. It's been deflected away. The arm was out. South plays screaming and Perry Mur says no. Well, I was certain that looked like a handball. So was I, David, but we'll need to see the benefit of a replay here. Lee Minopolis going for another shot from outside the box. And to me, that looks like a pretty clear case for handball. And South are denied a penalty, which may get them back into this match. The penalty is denied. The Knights still lead 2 0. Bohane goes short to big James Musa. Dion Kirk with the shot just wide. In fact, it was deflected on the way through. And maybe a half chance for South if they strike now. Positive strike from outside the box from the youngster on debut, Dion Kirk. He goes for the shot, unfortunately it deflects wide, but it goes out for a corner, gives South another chance. Bohane puts that one up high. He's got Ciaris. Keeps the ball going. Musa goes in. Chris May gloves that one strongly. And Perry Murr puts the game to an end. Chris May boots the ball away. The Melbourne Knights look absolutely jubilant. South Melbourne pretty devastated after that one. Their cup run is over in the quarterfinal stage. And really, in the end, they just weren't up to it tonight, John. Yeah, so close yet so far, David. The Melbourne Knights uh, a little bit on top there. They came here to play tonight and they got the two goals and progressed through to the cup and also qualify for the FFA Cup. South are out of that competition.